we're going to evaluate an integral. Now, we're not going to, I'm not going to do this exactly. You should be able to do this exactly. This is a very easy antiderivative if you know which antiderivative this is. This is an inverse tangent antiderivative, and you can look that up in your table, which I strongly recommend that you do for practice. Uh, and then you plug in the endpoints like you've done before. What we're gonna do is do the trapezoid rule with n equals five subdivisions. Um, I have that written, drawn out up here, so I'm not gonna go over the trapezoid rule another time. What we're gonna do is just compute with it, and I have it written down here. We do need to write down a, b, n, and f of x. So we'll start with f of x. f of x is the function that's inside the integral, one over one plus x squared. a is the little x value, which is zero. b is the big x value, which is one. We have the zero and the one, and there's f of x. And n is the number of subdivisions. They've been nice enough to already label that five with n. <clears throat> okay. So what we get at the end, what we're going to get is an estimation for pi over four. They do not ask for the estimation of pi over four. They want the estimation of pi. So we're going to get one quarter of what they're asking for. So you're going to do four times the estimate, uh, which for us will be written as T5, because just looking at this formula here at the bottom of the screen, uh, we're going to compute T with five subdivisions. All right, so your result's going to be four times uh, this estimate. All right, we're ready to line this up. First thing I'm going to do is write out I'm going to rewrite this, but I'm going to use n equals 5. So our very last one will be f of x 5. So I'm just copying down what's there. So f of x 0 plus. Now all the middle ones get doubled right here. But the very last one does not, and the very first one does not get doubled. reason I wrote down f of x5 so I wouldn't forget the last one is x5 and does not get doubled. Okay, so we are almost ready. What I didn't do is write down delta x. Delta x is b minus a over n, 1 minus 0 over 5, which is 1 fifth. All right, x0 is always going to be the small uh, x value, which is a, so for us is 0. x1 is going to be uh, x0 plus the change in x, so 0 plus 1 fifth, which is 1 fifth. x2 is going to be, there's two ways to write it, you can have it write it as the previous one plus the change in x. You could also write it as the initial plus two times the change in x. Uh, so it'll be two fifths. X three, I'm just gonna write x three as th uh, the initial, which is x zero plus three changes in x. So that'll be zero plus three fifths, which is three fifths, x four. Uh, it's x0 plus 4 delta x's, which is 4 fifths. The last x5 is x0 plus 5 change in x's. 5 fifths, also known as 1. It's tempting to write it as 1. However, uh, I'm going to recommend you leave it as 5 fifths. I'm even going to get a little more... Uh, common denominator, I'm going to write x0 as 0 fifths, just so that when I write all these out, it's going to be, the pattern is going to be painfully obvious. Uh, if you do reduce your fractions, if you can, uh, you may not want to, only because the pattern will be less obvious. All right, delta x was that 1 fifth. Now our function, 
somewhere up there. I'll just rewrite it. It's 1 over 1 plus x squared. 1 over 1 plus, so we have 0 fifths squared plus uh, 2 times 1 over 1 plus 1 fifth squared plus 2 times 1 over, and you can write the extra parentheses. Ooh. There we go. 1 plus 2 fifths squared plus 2 times 1 over 1 plus 3 fifths squared. I'm going to write on the next line. Uh, plus 2 times 1 over 1 plus 4 fifths squared plus, this is the last one, 1 over 1 plus 5 fifths squared. Okay, from here, all you have to do is just compute this value. I would not recommend you compute this by hand. A uh, calculator would be a great thing to use. If you're using a computer calculator, you could probably copy and paste. If you notice, I made all these look really similar, so you can copy and paste a bunch of times and just change the one digit from zero to one, to two, to three, to four, to five. And uh, you should be able to compute this pretty quickly uh, on a computer calculator. That's, I would recommend using that for the co nice copy and paste feature. Then again, make sure you multiply it by four when you actually plug it in. It's four times the estimate that you're about to compute.